very good evening. Thousands of people gathered to watch a cooling tower at Ferrybridge Power Station demolished by explosives. The coal-fired station produced electricity for half a century. It closed three years ago in a bid to meet the government's new low-carbon requirements. Sabia Pervez was there to see the tower come down. Its lofty towers have for decades dominated the horizon. But today marked the beginning of the end for this power plant. The planned explosion of one of the towers took months of preparation. And in seconds, it came crumbling to the ground. The day went really well, it went as planned, uh, there's been rehearsals, uh, dress rehearsals right up until yesterday and it went, it went really, uh, really well and according to plan. So as you can see behind me where there were five cooling towers now only four remain. In a statement SSC, the company that owned this plant, have said this first demolition is a landmark moment in the UK's energy transition as they move towards a low carbon future. But for many locals here today, it was a sombre occasion. Um, it's going to lose a bit of our heritage, and where we, you know, with local people, and we've seen it all our lives. It'll be a shame for it to go, but yeah, good day. So seeing it go down, it's kind of bittersweet because obviously, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna do a lot of good things. But part of me is just like, yeah, I'm kind of sad about it. There's nothing that I could even compare it to. It's just something that's been there all day, every day, since I was born, that's just gone now. As the cloud of dust clears, all that is left of Cooling Tower 6 is rubble. This was the first to go, but it's not the last. SSE have planned four more demolitions for later this year. Soon this landscape, which was defined by this power plant, will overlook a new future. Sabir Pavez, BBC Look North, Ferrybridge.